Hey y'all, what's up? So I'm popping in really quickly just to tell you guys that this video was previously recorded yesterday at the time that the news broke. I want to make sure you guys know that, are fully aware of that, and with all that being said, enjoy my content, because I love you. Welcome back to my channel, ladies and gents. It's time for the daily briefing, and we're going to break down this newest WWE Performance Center class of 2021. We're going to talk about these recruits, because they are Bomb. This is the largest recruit class in history for the WWE Performance Center, also known as the Capital Wrestling Center, CWC. Okay, so let's get into these recruits. I'm going to go by the order that WWE.com has presented them, and then you guys can have your assessment of who you think is going to be a breakout star and all that stuff in the comment section below. But these are your newest recruits. From the WWE Performance Center. So we have Bronson Rex Steiner. I believe that's how you say his name. He is the son of former WCW and WWE Tag Team Champion Rick Steiner. He comes to WWE from the gridiron. At 6 foot tall and 230 pounds. He was an All-American running back for Kennesaw State University. We have Kira Magnin Forrester. She's known to wrestling fans as Taya Valkyrie, an 11-year veteran of the Squared Circle, a classically trained ballerina. Forrester learned wrestling under the land, under Land Storm before breaking out in New, in Mexico in AAA wrestling. She has competed around the world since. She's also a former TNA Knockouts champion, and she was their longest reigning TNA Knockouts champion. Sean Ricker, who has recently debuted on NXT television as LA Knight, he is formerly known as Eli Drake, and he was a DN NWA television champion, and he has competed against Drew McIntyre, John Morrison, and Jeff Hardy. Angela Arnold, trained for the Squared Circle under WWE Hall of Famer Booker T, competing as AQA, she's impressed in action for Booker T's reality of wrestling promotion as well as Shimmer. Parker Boudreaux of Winter Garden, Florida, stands six foot four and weighs 300 pounds. The big man was an offensive lineman for the University of Central Florida. He has caught the eye of Paul Heyman on social media. So already we know who is a Paul Heyman guy. Interesting. Anthony Henry is a standout competitor from Evolve Wrestling, has competed on WWE Network. He's been in the ring with the superstars like the Street Profits, current NXT Tag Team Champions Only Larkin and Danny Burch, and Nash Carter of MSK, as well as Roderick Strong. Chance Barrow, better known to fans as Harlem Bravado, is a veteran of the independent scene. The North Carolina native has found success as a singles and tag team competitor and made his way to Japan to compete for pro wrestling NOAA. Teresa Serrano, now competing as Zoe Stark, debuted for NXT in the first ever Women's Dusty Rogues Tag Team Classic. Her intense in-ring style has made her a standout for the black and gold brand in short order. Christian Brigham is a Massachusetts native with six years of experience in the ring, and he will be under the name Christian Casanova. Priscilla Kelly, now going down by Gigi Dolan, competed in the 2018 May Young Classic and returned to WWE for the first ever Women's Dusty Rhodes Classic for NXT. Drew Casper no, is the brother of Jacob Casper, who joined the WWE PC in October 2020. The 285-pounder was a two-time All-American heavyweight wrestler for Otter Bean University and was the number one seeded wrestler in NCAA Division III tournament before it was canceled due to COVID-19 pandemic. Brianna Coda, now known as Cora Jade, is a 19-year-old Illinois native who's been competing in the ring since 2018 and who debuted for NXT in the Women's Dusty Road Tag Team Classic. Christian Hubble is a former college cheerleader who has broken out on the independent scene with recent months. The Tennessee native made a name for himself under the moniker Blake Christian in promotions like Pro Wrestling, Gorilla, and Game Changer Wrestling. 
Matrick Belton played Division I football for the University of South Carolina and has attended training camps for the NFL's Philadelphia Eagles. He has prepared for the rigors of the ring by training at Combat Zone Wrestling Academy in New Jersey. Cameron Clay has been competing in the ring for four years under the name Cameron Brene and has been in the ring with the NX with the likes of NXT's Shotzi Blackheart. Joe Ariola is a 25-year-old amateur wrestler from Oak Park, Illinois. An undefeated state champion and national champion in high school, Ariola wrestled for the University of Buffalo in college, qualifying for the NCAA tournament in 2016. Taylor Grotto of Clearwater Beach, Florida, competed as Avery Taylor for promotions like Evolve and Shine. And finally, we have Carissa Rivera of New Jersey. She has made a name for herself on the independent wrestling scene for promotions like New and Women's Wrestling Revolution. So there you have it. Those are your NXT recruits, class of 2021. This is a stacked class. I'm very, very happy that this class is extremely diverse and extremely um, women forward, but also diverse in the women. I love this. And I really, really, really hope that these women are used well and effectively. And if they ever make it to the main roster, I hope that they are spread out on the main roster so that they can be used properly and we can have a better wrestling experience when it comes to WWE. Things are looking up for the WWE, especially for the NXT brand. So you guys tell me what you think. Are you excited about these recruits? What do you think about NXT having Taya Valkyrie and Eli Drake on the roster, as well as some of these new guys who have the chance to prove themselves and become breakout mega stars? You got to love this. You just got to love this. With all that being said, I put this before the council. You guys let me know what you think about these recruits. Have you heard of any of these recruits? If you have, comment in the comment section below. Let me know if there's some matches I need to watch of specific superstars. I know a lot of people was telling me I need to go watch some of Zoe Stark's old stuff, Eli Drake's old stuff. I know a lot of people were telling me about AQA. But you guys let me know in the comment section below what you guys think I should be watching in terms of indie scene stars and I will see you guys in my next one. Mad love everybody.